Welcome to this video in which I will explain one additional feature that's been added to the reminder list spreadsheet and I'll also briefly mention some structural changes that have been made. So the new feature that's been added is this search tool that's available in cell G12 over here and I added this feature because some users raised concern that scrolling down to find the applicable file in the file list over here was somewhat tedious and even myself I found this to be a bit fiddly when you get a really long list of files. I typically have about 40 to 60 files going on at any one time and it is a bit tedious sometimes to scroll down using this list box over here. So the way the search tool works is you come into this yellow shaded cell which is cell G12 and you just type the first couple of letters or in fact letters that appear anywhere in the file name that you expect. So for example if I just type in B and then hit the enter key you'll see it produces a pared down list of files. The letters do not have to appear at the beginning of the file name so for example if I put in the letter Y it'll produce this list over here which indicates all files that have a Y anywhere in their name and if I choose a set of letters that only appears in a few files of course the list will get shorter and shorter. So the more specific your search, obviously the shorter the list of files is going to be. And then you can click the clear button over here in cell H11, sorry H12, to clear the list and go back to the beginning. Apart from that, the spreadsheet works pretty much the same as the spreadsheet explained in the previous videos. An additional change is that I have um, moved the file list over to a new tab. Uh, that's partly because the search tool uses these formulas in columns E to G on the file list tab and uh, it was a bit clumsy to have all of that happening on the to-do list tab so I've moved the file list over to its own tab and as well at the bottom here you can see that the completed items have also been moved over to a tab of their own. And finally the reminder generation tab which was explained in video number two is also um, on its own tab. So that's pretty much all the changes uh, that have happened. Not a lot, but hopefully some users will find the search tool useful. And if you don't want to use it, that's fine. You can totally ignore it and still just scroll around and click on the applicable file you want to create a reminder for in the list box over here. All right. Thanks.